Welcome to Mount Lafayette Campground in the White Mountains in New Hampshire. I planned a hike where I was going to summit three mountains. Well, in order to do that, you need a great meal the night before. I went ahead and set up my camp, started a fire, and noticed the rain was coming. So I went ahead and put a tarp over the fire, as well as the area I was going to be hanging out in. While I let the fire settle down and get ready for cooking, it was time to go ahead and prepare my meal. See, we're going to be cooking an amazing steak tonight. We're going to use a little black truffle salt, coarse black pepper, and some black truffle oil. Very simple, but bold, amazing flavors. This is a two pound tomahawk steak. Let's go ahead and get some of this amazing black truffle oil on. This will help as a binder, as well as give us a nice sear. And then it's time for the pepper. And I mean lots and lots of coarse black pepper. this guy off with some truffle salt. After I let the fire settle down a bit and I let those grill grates get roaring hot, then it's time to throw this monster on the grill. And then it's just time to sit back and relax. Flip it every five, six minutes just to make sure I'm not burning it and enjoy the aroma. And there's not much like a crackling fire with a big old tomahawk steak on the grill. The key to this cook was patience. You have to be patient with a steak this thick. Let it cook in its own time. Just keep flipping it to make sure it doesn't burn. working with the fire to make sure the tips of the flame came right to the bottom of the steak. That way I wouldn't have a higher chance of burning it, but I would get that incredible char flavor. Now I like my steaks medium rare, so after about 30 minutes, I went ahead and called it done the steak off, put it on my cutting board, and just let it rest for about 20 minutes. That rest is going to allow those juices to stay in the meat instead of run out as soon as I cut it. After about 20 minutes, it was time to go ahead and cut this guy up. Let's try this peppered truffle steak. It's so juicy. So juicy. The truffles coming through with that salt and the oil. Mm. The pepper. The pepper is where it's at. I'm telling you, that is amazing. <laughs> 